Hello everyone, and in this video we're going to use a free plugin to add some speech recognition. So this is just a, a blank project, and in the description you will find a link to this website. Now there's two sections, there's if you're using Unreal Engine 4, or if you're like me, we're going to use the Unreal Engine 5. So what you can do is you can just click this link here and then you can click code and download zip and then just download it somewhere. While that's downloading, you will also come back to this page and you will need to download the language models. So you can click on this link and then you can just click download, uh, download anywhere. And then the same again, just send it. So now those two have downloaded, what we can do is in the content draw, we can right click and we want show in Explorer, just so we can find where the um, files are for the project. We can go to the root of our project. For me, it's called speech YT. We can right click new folder and type plugins. And what we want to do here is we want to grab the two files we just made. Now open it in WinRAR or whatever you're using. So we want to just pull this file into the plugins folder. So let me just do that. So plug that in like that and let that send over. And then once that's done, we want to open the other file, the models folder here. And in our content, we need to make a new folder called models and then copy these over. These are three language packs. Um, if you go to the uh, Sphinx website, um, it does mention at the bottom, you can get other Sphinx train language models. Um, and the person will update this, but if you can find them yourself, you should be able to add them by default. There is English, uh, French, and I think it's Chinese. So now that's done, what we want to do is we can close our Unreal project and we need to reopen it. So if I go here and I go to my YT like this and let this load. Okay, so now we're in the project. Um, let's just update that there. So if we open the plugins and we search for speech, we have the speech recognition um, plugin here. So it's all ready to go. So because I'm using Unreal Engine, I'm going to use the um, Unreal Engine 5.5 instructions. If you're using Unreal Engine 4, then you need to check the guide linked. So I'm going to create a new folder and I call it speech. In here, we need to create a new blueprint class and it will be all classes and it's going to be a speech recognition game state base. I'm going to call this a speech, a game state. Now, once you have that, you need to find your game mode because I'm using third person for me, it should be in my blueprint and then third person game mode in here, the game state uh, class, you just change that to our new one, like so in the game state, we can open it up. And we can see on the right here, if I pull this out, we now have this audio section. So this is where you put the words in, you want it to recognize and which language. So there's multiple languages here. Um, for Spanish and Russian, you would need to find the model file. Um, the one on the website is only English, Chinese, and French. So what we can do is we can click here the array element and we have phrase and tolerance. So the tolerance is basically how close 
sound into the word before it should activate. Um, V6 is though normally around. It depends on um, how you speak. I've had issues because of my accent. I have to really like pronounce words for it to show up, but you would need to configure this. So let's make a few. We can say hello. Uh, we can do uh, jump and we could do um, what would be another one let's do exit so we can exit the uh, program or like maybe a menu or something oh no we can do we can do um spawn we'll do a spawn um spawn an actor so now we have that we need to implement it into our character in our character boot, uh, BP, we need to find the begin player. Right click and do speech rec recognition subsystem. Like this. And from here, we do bind event to on word spoken. And this will make it so whenever we um, speak, it will do an event. And it will check if the words are in the um, setup dictionary. So in here, we do a custom event and we can say on words spoken. The text phrase here, we can split and we can get the actual uh, array of strings that it's heard. And what we do here, we can do a for each loop. And then we can just print string to show it. So if I do this, like so, I compile and we uh, play. Uh, this is gonna use by default the Windows microphone that you've got set. So if we go in, we can say, hello, hello, jump, hello. So why isn't it showing up? Let's see. So the issue I had was I, accidentally put an S on models. It shouldn't be models. It should be model. So if you have that, just create the model folder and, rem and move these files in. So if we go now and we try it, hello. So you see in the top left, it says, hello, jump, spawn, spawn. So see how it says, hello. Uh, what we have to do here is we just need to, because I changed this, we need to increase the tolerance a bit. Hello. Jump. Jump. Spawn. Spawn. There we go. So to use this, what we can do is we can grab this and we can do switch. Um, switch on string like this. So these are the cases and we can basically put in, so hello, we had jump and we had spawn. So if I say here, if I do a jump and plug that into jump and save, Let's see, jump, 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 jump. There you go. Oh, we picked that up as uh, something else. You have to be, you have to uh, check the tolerance and things like this. Jump, jump. So for things like, um, let's try putting this up a bit. Let's try these on eight. And let's see what we get now with them. Jump, spawn, hello, jump, 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 jump. Yeah, so it needs to be quick. Jump, jump. So you, you need to basically 
play around with it with this a bit. There are settings you can change if I bring this in. So you can use these uh, parameters here. Uh, if you come up here, there is a, a way of showing um, how to change them, these numbers here. But it's mainly about the um, tolerance. So if I do, uh, let's see, V7, 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 let's try this. So for spawning, you could then um, spawn actor from class. Let's just create one. What we'll do is for testing, I'll just quickly create a actor and test spawn. And then um, let's just add a static mesh sphere, lower the size, and then we'll set it so it overlaps the player. And just spawn it inside the player. So if I do that and then I say test spawn, and uh, the spawn transform, we can do get actor location this so if i try now spawn 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 jump jump spawn jump spawn jump spawn spawn so this is just a very quick go overview um of how you can set this up and have it uh, running with some examples. Uh, like I said, if you want more information, there is a uh, example project in this. Uh, let me see if I can find it. There's a sample project. There is uh, how to move forward and things like that. Um, and it shows you some more uh, things you can set up. So if you need to add any more words, just remember, go into the game state and then you can add some more. So if I come here and make a new one, I can say exit game, ex exit game. Let's try this one. Uh, we go into third person character. We can add a new one here and we can type in exit game. Uh, console command. Wait. So if I open it, exit game. There we go. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. I have a Patreon if you want to support me, and I have a buy me a coffee as well. So I hope this has been useful, and I'll see you in the next video.